Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the WES process, really the ECA process. What is ECA first of all? It's Educational Credential Assessment. And what that really means is if you're going to US or Canada, you wanna show that, hey, my bachelor's degree or my postgraduate degree, whatever degree that you have, is actually equivalent to the degree that's been done by someone in the US or Canada, right? So that's what you want to show to these, either the universities in the US when you're applying or to the IRCC when you're applying to immigration to Canada, really. Okay, so both of these cases, we're gonna be talking about them and I'll clarify them for you in this video. You will not need another video after this. Five minutes, give me five minutes and I'll clarify each and everything for you. Okay, so WES, why did we choose WES? By the way, there's other alternatives that we'll show you at the end, but WES is just the fastest. So that's why we're going with them. It's called World Education Services. They're the fastest. Again, a lot of people use that for GPA conversion to 4.0 scale. And a lot of people use that for immigrating to Canada. Basically, you have to show these scores to the IRCC in that case, okay? So both the cases, it's fine whatever you're going for. We'll just go over and dive right into it and I'll show you how you can go ahead and apply for your WES all for free. And I'll show you how you can go ahead and apply for WES, okay? So we'll begin. So you search for WES on Google and you go into their website, you click get started because you're doing this for the first time. Then you have the option to choose between US and Canada. Over here, I'll pick both and I'll open them in separate tabs. What that really means is, hey, if you're going for Canada, it'll give you the option of IRCC directly. So you won't have to select that later on. Okay, if you're going for US, it'll just give you the form directly. That means you can just go ahead and start filling the form. You can add the universities later on. Okay, I'll personally pick the Canadian one because you know the IRCC will be selected automatically later on. All right, we won't have to search for it and select it. And I'll show you later on though. All right. First, we'll start filling up this form, your name, your date of birth, your email ID, all of these things are some things that need to be there. Remember that they won't be checking them, they won't be verifying them. So it's imperative that you make sure that you do not enter any wrong details over here. When you enter your email also, make sure that it's 100% correct, okay? Uh, once you've done that, you have to create a password. There are certain rules that you know certain types of characters should show up. Again, keep those in mind, all right? And once you've done that, you can just choose your security question, just answer it all right maybe you go for the newsletter or don't completely up to you and then you submit it processes it basically adds your details into their database your account is created boom congrats now you have just a few more things to submit what's your gender you know what's your country what's your mailing address your address again ensure that these are correct you don't really need to have these as 100% correct, but they can sometimes show up on your other documents. So it's very, very important to ensure that they are correct. Okay, once you have done that, and by the way, the name over here should be the same as your transcripts for those of you who are con uh, concerned about that, right? So once you've done that, you can click next and you will see the add credentials button. That's where you necessarily add the degree that you're talking about, that you wanna show that, hey, this is the equivalent of a US or Canadian degree, right? That's where you add it. You choose the level bachelor's, you know, master's, postgraduate, whatever you've done, you choose that from your home country, all right? You choose the name of the college that you get, got it from, name of the university or college, okay? You choose the exact degree, that you did, maybe Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Arts, whatever it was, right? You choose it over here and then you write in your name. Again, the same as the transcripts. Do not alter from there, okay? Next thing, field of study. Again, I'm just writing IT over here. Of course, it should be information technology if you have the time, right? And the dates you attended these uh, the university, all right? Once you've done that, you can now move on. You will be able to go on to the next form, okay? But for now, this is really it. You don't really need to add any other degrees. Once you've done all of this, you will see that IRCC is already selected over here. Like I said, we started the Canadian one, so IRCC is already selected. But usually what happens is if you went for the US process, you could just type in the name of a university over here. I, I'm just typing some university name, but you know, because we said that, hey, we are using this WES process for immigration, it won't really show any universities right now, okay? But otherwise it would, otherwise it would, trust me, okay? So once you've done that, you can click next. You can choose the package. Again, for Canada, it's the same package. For US, it's course by course or document by document. Always go with course by course, okay? And uh, then it'll take you to processing. Um, by the way, you can choose any standard carrier or you can choose the costlier one with tracking completely up to you guys. But yeah, that's basically it. The final thing you have to do is you have to send your statement of marks, basically your transcripts to WES. And the key over here is that you do not have to send it. That's something that your university has to send. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Once you go onto this form over here, this is the one that you have to use to send the 
transcripts to the WES, you have to write in your reference number, which you will receive after your payment on the WES website for the previous segment. And the next thing you have to fill out are basic details. Apart from that, they're really the basic details, but just make sure that you're entering the dates of the degree correctly and everything, all right? The rest of this pro part of the pro process has to be filled out by the, by the university. And a lot of Asian universities that I know, they don't really do this. And what they do is they give you the transcripts in a sealed pack and they ask you to go ahead and send it to WES. Now, WES will reject them if you do that. The way to actually avoid that, the way to circumvent that is to ensure that you are using sealed transcripts, okay? The from and to labels have to be correct. By the way, from is from the university, not you. So you don't mention your name, you mention the university's name, you mention the university's address, okay? Now there will be a pin code, right? Could be anything, 110042, completely depending on your country, whatever the pin code is, you use that pin code the same as the university because it's the university's address, not yours. And finally, what happens is you will have the option of mailing it now, right? You can use any service. You can use FedEx or you can use post office, completely depending on your country. But the important part over here is make sure that you go on to the post office or you know whatever corporate office you're going nearest to your university. It should be in the same pin code, guys. Okay, if your university's pin code is 110081, then find an organization that can ship to, the, to WES in the same pin code. Otherwise, WES will reject it. Okay, so you wanna put WES under the impression that, hey, this came directly from the university. It's not been tampered. It's not been, you know, in my hands. All right, and that's important. Okay, finally, a few keywords. I think that's really the overall process. You don't really need to know more than that. Again, if you're going for US universities, what you will be usually doing is later on, you can enter the names of the universities on WES's portal and they will send the uh, send the reports directly to these universities. You don't really have to do that. But you won't be able to do that if you did not choose the ICAP. So when you're going for the US process, just a quick key over here is that always go for ICAP. It's a little bit of a premium processing option, but what that means is according to WES, they save your records in their database, right? Whatever your result is, whatever your GPA is, they will save it in, your, in, the, in the database that they have. And then whenever you say, hey, look, I want to ship it to these universities, then WES won't really send these documents to you first and then you from your home country won't send it to the universities, right? It'll be much quicker, it'll be much cheaper, WES will directly send these documents to the universities, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. I think that's everything. I already covered the Canadian process earlier. Guys, it's, it's a lot of research, it's a lot of hard work. If you think the presentation that I gave you over here is worth it, what you can do is you can hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, it'll give me a lot of confidence to do more of these videos, all right? And apart from that, thank you so much for spending time with me and watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye and take care. All the best for your WES process.